Happy first Tuesday of the second semester at Sycamore Junior High. Today is January 25th, 2022, and welcome to this episode of the Daily Video Announcements. I'm Hanin. And I'm Ava. I'm so excited to bring you today's news, but first it is time to unite and honor America by standing and placing our hand over our heart as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you and please be seated. Okay, did you know on this very day, back in 1924, they had the first ever Winter Olympics in Ch Chamonix, France? As many of us know, the Winter Olympics are now a major international event, and in many ways just as popular as the Summer Olympics. But it didn't start out this way. It was first organized by the French Olympic Committee as the International Winter Sports Week to be held in southern France in the same year as the Summer Olympics in Paris. There were only a few events at this first Olympics, including bobsleigh, curling, ice hockey, and various versions of Nordic skiing. But despite the small nature of the event, it was considered a big su success by the International Olympic Committee, who retroactively designated it as the first Winter Olympics. Any guesses which country won the most gold medals during the first Winter Olympics? I don't know, maybe France or Switzerland? Nope, but those are some really great guesses. It was actually Norway with four gold medals and a, total, and a tally of 17 overall. Wow, that is very cool stuff. And I am looking forward to watching some sort of Winter Olympics coming this February. Actually, within the next couple of weeks, when Beijing 2022 will host the 24th Olympic Winter Games, February 4th through the 20th. And thanks for sharing these interesting facts. Next, our fact of the day. I want to add another cool Winter Olympic fact that the practice of holding the Winter Olympics in the same year as the Summer Olympics continued until 1992 when they were moved to alternating even numbered years. That is another interesting fact, but did you know that today is also National Opposite Day? What kind of day is National Opposite Day? National Opposite Day is celebrated on January 25th as a fun day of switcheroos. What better way than to not celebrate? Or do I really mean that? Good day everyone, or is it good night? Hello, or is it goodbye? I am cold, or am I hot? The aim of the day is to have fun all day long, saying exactly the opposite of what you really mean. This day has kids rejoicing everywhere. It is also a great day for adults to play along and break out of the winter blues. Maybe we should have dinner for breakfast and breakfast for dinner. Okay, now I'm not confused, or am I? Next up, birthdays, or no birthdays. Happy for real birthday to Grayson T and to Shio V. We wish you a rainy day, or do we want you to have a great sunny day? Now, a student council commercial break, and on to our terrible and crazy Mr. Harris with our important activity information, or is he? As well as stay tuned for an important message from our guidance office and students of the week and athletes of the week. Hi, we're from student council. I'm Emily. I'm Hadley and I'm Sahana and we're here to tell you about candy grams. Candy grams are a sweet treat you can surprise your friends with. You can buy them when first class passes and fill them out at the PBIS store. All you have to write on the candy gram is your name, your friend's name, and their flexible teacher. You can also make yourself anonymous. Your candy grams will be delivered on or around Valentine's Day. Thank you. Wow, that was, a, oh, that was a pretty awesome commercial. Great job, guys. All right, hello. I'm here for your daily announcements. All right, first of all, this is the last call for anybody, any boy interested in playing soccer at the high school next year. If you're interested, please email Mr. Tanaka as soon as possible. He'll send you a Google form to fill out. As soon as he receives the email with the Google Meet information, he'll pass that along to you. Uh, don't forget, 8th grade orientation day at the high school is next Thursday, February 3rd. The 8th grade tenth transition day will take place during the day at school, and then that night the academic fair will be held from 5.30 to 7. Hey, if you want to know more about Sycamore High School, then listen to what some seniors and a few junior aviators have to say. Listen to them talk about the Innovation Lab, 
athletics and extracurricular activities during the question and answer session on February 1st. Uh, see the school flyer or check your email for more information or go to sycamoregear.org to register for the virtual event. And finally, this Friday, the 28th, in the cafeteria and on February 4th in the wrestling room, candy grams will be sold. Now, you're probably asking what a candy gram is. Candy gram is a fun way, all right, to send your friend or a teacher an unexpected card that will have candy attached to it on Valentine's Day. You can purchase as many candy grams as your first class tickets will allow. Each candy gram will cost you five first class tickets. When you purchase the candy gram, it's very important that you know the flex bell teacher of the student that you're giving that candy gram to. All right, so you need to find that information out before you go to the cafeteria this Friday or the resting room next Friday. All right, candy grams will be sorted and handed out on Valentine's Day during Flex 21. And yes, again, it's cold outside, so we're going to stay indoor for recess today. Hey, that's all for me today. You guys have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Now a very important scheduling message from Mrs. Suter in our guidance office. Hi everybody, Mrs. Suter here. Happy Tuesday. I hope that everyone's second semester classes has started off well. I just wanted to get in front of you guys today to let you know that this Friday is the deadline for any schedule change requests that you want to put through to your counselor. So that's electives only. We're not changing any core courses, just for elective classes. If there's anything you want to change or request to change, uh, let your counselor know. You can come down to the counseling office and see Mrs. Manning. And if a counselor is available, then we will be happy to talk to you about it. Otherwise, you can just slip us a note or send us an email. So this Friday is the deadline for all elective schedule change requests. If you have any questions about any of that, come see us. Thanks and have a great day. Over to Mrs. Bernoski now with our Students of the Week. Hi everybody, Mrs. Bernoski here to present our Students of the Week. These are students who were respectful, responsible, safe, and a problem solver. First off, nominated by Ms. Sturbliss, we, or sorry, Sturbliss, we have James Acree. Congratulations, James, your certificate and your Chick-fil-A gift card. Mm -hmm. Next up, nominated by Mr. Stinson, we have Elijah Morales. Elijah, congratulations, your, Thank you. and your Chick-fil-A gift card. Here you go, congratulations. Next, we have Ishal Pasha, nominated by Mr. Stern. Congratulations, Chick-fil-A gift card, way to go. And lastly, we have Omkar Seth, nominated by Mrs. Stubblebein. Congratulations, and your Chick-fil-A gift card. Again, those are the students of the week. Congratulations to everybody. back to Mr. Harris with our Athletes of the Week. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and it gives me great pleasure to present this week's Athletes of the Week. So our first Athlete of the Week is Brianna Snyder. I said it right this time. All right, Brianna is a member of the 8th grade girls gold basketball team, and let me read a few things our coach has said. She's an excellent student in the classroom, and she works hard every day to improve on the court. Uh, her coach says Brianna works to the best of her ability each time she steps on the court. She is very coachable and always trying to improve as a basketball player. So congratulations, Brianna, and go A. So here's your write-up and your certificate. Thank okay? you. You're very welcome. All right. Our next Athlete of the Week is a face that, unfortunately, we see a whole lot of. Yep. Athlete of the Week is Regis Hearn. And Regis is from the eighth grade. Put your mask on, boy. Miss Darcy. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you to cover your nose. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Behind the scenes. All right. Re uh, Regis is a member of the eighth grade boys gold basketball team, and he's their athlete of the week. Uh, Regis, just a few things his coach says about him. Regis is a player who not only does a terrific job competing, he's always trying to get better. He questions, he questions in an effort to understand the game and to be a great communicator. And when you coach him and give him advice, he listens and tries to do better next time. Uh, despite the fact that he has not come close to dunking the ball this season, he's been a pleasure to have on the team. So congratulations to Regis Hearn. Here's your write-up and your certificate. Thanks, Coach T. All right, congratulations from wrestling. And this is Eric Godinez? Godinez. Godinez. All right, Eric came to season prepared, and it was obviously that he had wrestled in the offseason. He's greatly improved from last year and tends to chain wrestle, hitting move after move. 
no matter what adversity he seems to come across, his attitude, effort, and enthusiasm have never wavered. So, coaches are very proud of Eric and the work he has put in. So, congratulations. Here's your write-up, and here's your certificate. Good job, buddy. Thank you. All right, get out of here. All right. And our next athlete of the week is from Sycamore Cheer, and this is Caden Johnson. And Caden has done a wonderful job out there cheering for the various sports. She's a very enthusiastic member of our cheer team, and we're greatly, it's a great pleasure to honor her as our athlete of the week for cheer. So, Caden, there she go. There's your write up. That's it for me. You guys are probably tired of seeing my face, so I'm going to get out of here. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. All right. Well, that's not all we have for today. Have fun not celebrating National Opposite Day. Okay, now for the joke of the day, or not, what do you give a sick bird? What? Treatment. <laughs> Go, Go Aves! Aves.